Welcome to Fight of Faith. If you're blessed by what you hear today, I encourage you to like it, subscribe to stay updated on more videos like this, and share so someone else can be blessed and maybe make the decision to have Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Bump 57 Ministries is a 501c3, and your donations help us to mentor urban youth, changing their mindset from criminality to Christ-like, and provide support to returning citizens struggling to reintegrate into society. To support this ministry and help us with youth discipleship and life restoration for returning citizens, just click the link in the description. Hope you enjoy this brief message and have a blessed day. What up, y'all? So we're expounding a little bit on what we talked about last week. I guess you can call this one uh, mental fortitude, part two. The basic instructions before leaving Earth are what many call this. Of course, myself included, I'm certain there is not a person on Earth that follows the simplest instructions in this book to the letter. It's what we strive to do, and to get better at it, we have to make a wholehearted commitment. Reading it is cool, but action trumps thinking when thinking overthinks. Jesus says, keep on asking, and you will receive what you're asking for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. And he goes on to say that this applies to everyone who does it. Now, I don't know about you, but I believe God wholeheartedly. Therefore, my commitment should match my level of belief, which means I should be asking like Solomon when he asked for wisdom and God made him the wisest man ever. Or Jabez, when he asked for an expansion of his territory and received it. If God did it for them, he'll do it for me. Now, it's obvious I have a heart for ministry, but in order to be effective at it, my relationship with God has to be strong. That's what I seek, more understanding and more intimacy with my Heavenly Father. When you seek Him in this way, the Holy Spirit in you will guide you to what you seek and reveal the answers you need to understand in order to be a, bit, be a blessing to the people that He's called you to minister to. There are countless doors of opportunity along everyone's path in life. How many of them do we knock on? Jesus has given us the not so secret secret to success here. We just have to do as both Jesus and Art Williams say and just do it. What's stopping you from asking the right question or asking for the help you need? Is it fear of looking stupid or weak? That's false evidence appearing real. It's a fake obstacle that cripples you. Face it and you'll overcome it and flip that same fear into magnificent faith. What stops you from seeking a deeper relationship with God? Do you feel inadequate or unworthy? So what? We are all unworthy, yet God created us all in his image and gave us the freedom of choice, which is what makes us human and allows us to choose him. In other words, we were created to be in relationship with him. That's your purpose. Step into it and God will be pleased. What's stopping you from knocking today? Is success or the abundant life that God has promised us so unknown to you that you hesitate to enter into the territory? I feel you. But remember, these are God's promises his gifts, in all actuality, who am I to reject the gifts of God? I move forward from now on with this perspective. Who's marching into victory with me? Thank you for watching Fight of Faith. If you know you haven't made a commitment to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is stirring something up inside of you right now, I got good news for you. It's easy to be saved. You already believe or else you wouldn't be considering it. All you have to do is confess. So before you go changing your mind, let's go ahead and make the absolute best decision you can ever make. Just repeat after me. Say, Lord, I repent for doing things my way. I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. I welcome you, Holy Spirit, into my life to rescue and empower me and to restore me to intimacy with my Heavenly Father. Amen. If you just accepted Christ into your life, I just want you to know that the angels in heaven are having a praise party just for you. I'm also excited to welcome you into the family of God. I want to pray with you and give you some resources to help you in your walk with God. So do me a favor and click the link in the description that says, Welcome to the Family. Be prepared to experience life more abundantly.